Hey folks, what's cracking? I'm the Credit Savage. Welcome to my channel where I like to talk about traveling for free by taking advantage of credit card sign up bonuses, their point systems, and how to maximize on those rewards. Now, uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, Chase just becoming better and better and better uh, by leaps and bounds over American Express, City, and Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Um, I did make a video not too long ago uh, where I said that Chase was working on some things and that some uh, changes were in the horizon, and that was a few weeks back. And I even caught some slack because, you know, um, they added something that was not necessarily that useful, and I figured, okay, well, we have to see what November's bringing. So now Chase has actually put something out saying that starting November 1st, um, they're actually going to add an incredible feature for the next six months to the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Before I get any further, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It'll cost you absolutely nothing, and it helps me out with the algorithm. Um, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you're new to this channel, I hope you take something away from this. And if you're not new to the channel, well then, thank you for watching. Now, let's get going. So, Chase added... Uh, Dining hub within ultimate rewards a few weeks ago and some people felt like you know This is not too much. This this obviously is not something that's gonna I guess move the needle when it comes to somebody downgrading their uh, sapphire card um, From a reserve to a you know CSP which is a chase sapphire preferred or from a chase sapphire preferred You know down to like a freedom or a flex and, and I can see why however uh Dining Hub is something that it, it 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 kind of it kind of uses the pay yourself back feature in a way, and if you are a foodie, okay, and that's pretty much what this uh, credit cards are geared towards. The sapphires uh, are for traveling and dining, right? So if you're a foodie, and say you know there's a restaurant or two that have now opened, and you're looking to dine, but you don't necessarily want to spend that money. And you have a ton of points uh, just sitting there. You know traveling is not going to resume probably for another six months to a year. Um, and maybe more for it to get back to normal. At least until there's a vaccine for COVID-19. So um, you have all these points and you figured, okay, well, you know, um, I want to get something out of it. And so that's what uh, Chase Dining Hub with an Ultimate Rewards does. It basically lets you um, order out from um, all these restaurants that they have on the Ultimate Rewards portal and pay with your points. So uh, at 1.5 cents uh, back per point, it makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. Um, if you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve and if you have the Chase Sapphire Preferred, well, they will give you 1.25 uh, cents per point. So let's say you have three, 400,000 points, maybe more um and you just like you know you miss dining out but you don't really want to go dine out or you can if you want to and you could pay with those points that makes perfect sense if you're a foodie um and so it, it's something that you could use and it is valuable to a specific enclave of people but not to everyone um same thing with the chase uh sapphire private dining series over virtual events, you know, some people like myself, um, I actually dabble and cook quite a bit, so I'm always finding, uh, trying to find ways into like how to up my game, and that's what this kind of um, is ge is geared towards. Is somebody that's you know kind of like a chef aficionado or a or, or a foodie that doesn't mind dabbling in the kitchen, and you want to see you know some uh, famous chef. Um, Make a dish, and they will send you know all those uh, all those materials to your house. So veggies, um, seasonings, whatever uh, of a famous dish will be sent to your house, and then you'll have uh, an allotted time slot in which to go um, you know through the portal or a link that they'll give you, so that you can be at that time and that date watching a chef. Um, 
kind of cook the meal that you'll be cooking and kind of you'll be following along. And so that's what this is geared towards. But that's not too useful for a lot of people. And I get it. You know, however, today, Chase actually put out a statement saying that, ding, 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 they're actually going to use a very uh, useful category and add it uh, to the rotation for the next six months until April 31st. And this is beginning on November 1st of this year, okay? The Chase Sapphire Reserve is adding 3X groceries to their categories. Um, it is capped at $1,000 per month. But if you look at numbers, an average uh, family of four to five people, that's kind of what they spend in groceries from $800 to $1,000. So that makes a lot of sense that Chase is doing this. So, you know, realistically, they're giving you, you know, the chance to get 3X back for every dollar spent on groceries. The great thing is that Chase is very liberal about giving you points if you buy gift cards at the grocery store. So it makes sense, let's say, you know, you don't meet that threshold within a month and you're like, oh, I'm three, 400 bucks off. Well, then you can buy uh, a gift card. And so it depends on, you know, how you spend your money and what type of gift card you get. You'll be getting something out of it. Um, the Chase Sapphire Preferred is gonna add two X uh, per, per dollar spent on groceries. So. That's actually very useful, you know. Um, if you ask me, that's actually a test run, per se. I think that Chase has now figured out kind of where they want to go, uh, especially since they uh, debuted the uh, Chase Freedom Flex, and they have such a, a, so they've had such a positive feedback when it comes to people signing up. Well, um, people are really buying groceries right now. You know, like I said, COVID has changed things. And, um, you know, people are not really going out and dining. Uh, people are not traveling. And so they have to figure out ways in which um, to give people a reason not to downgrade these cards. And I think this is a test run for them to see how uh, people react and what the spending habits are like with these two cards specifically for six months. And I think this, um, we may be seeing, you know, in the horizon, um, an added bonus to the Chase Sapphire Reserve uh, of a 3X back on groceries, uh, probably uh, permanent, as well as the uh, Chase Sapphire Preferred, probably 2X back on groceries, you know, for it to be permanent. And so I'm sure they're probably thinking about other ways and other things um, on how to maximize on the rewards that they give you you know, and, and how to improve those. But for the time being, this actually is not bad. You know, I did call it. Um, I did say that they were probably going to add groceries because it makes a lot of sense. You know, um, they could have added anything else like gas, you know, uh, and they still may. We don't know what they have in store for December, you know. But as of right now, these are great news. I approve of it. You know, I, I definitely see myself, you know, although I'm using the Flex right now, uh, for groceries, you know, nothing says that I can't buy, you know, gift cards, especially Amazon gift cards. Um, it's one-on-one -on -one to me, you know, for every cent that I buy on, you know, from the grocery store uh, on that on a dollar is a cent that I'll spend, you know, on, on, on Amazon. And sometimes they have those specials where if you use one, you know, membership reward point uh, on Amazon, well, then you get 20% off of like $80 or $100. So that's even, that's savings on savings. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you appreciate this video. If anything I said click with you, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll be making uh, some more videos, you know, when things change, if things change. And also I have, you know, some ideas of certain credit cards I want to talk about. So until then, you guys take care. I appreciate you guys watching. And do remember, though, and keep in mind that, you know, cash is king, yes, but credit is power, baby.